the Basilica Cistern Museum stands as one of the most significant cultural assets where traces of Istanbul's glorious history can be explored. Commissioned by the Eastern Roman Emperor Justinian I, 527-565, this vast underground cistern, named locally as the Basilica Palace due to its numerous rising marble columns, has been a prominent structure. Also known as the Cisterna Basilica in Latin, it is sometimes referred to as the Basilica Cistern as it occupies the site of the earlier Stoa Basilica. The Basilica Cistern, with a storage capacity of 80,000 tons of water, is the city's largest closed cistern, standing out with more reused structural elements than other closed cisterns. Covering an area of approximately 10,000 square meters, the rectangular structure measures 140 meters in length and 70 meters in width. Historical records indicate that the Basilica Cistern supplied water obtained from aqueducts and rainfall to the Great Palace, where the emperors resided, and surrounding buildings for hundreds of years. The cistern also received water from the Hadrian Waterway, a historic aqueduct. Within the cistern, there are 336 columns, each standing at a height of 9 meters, arranged in 12 rows with a spacing of 4.80 meters between them. The columns, mostly carved from various marble types, are either single pieces or composed of two parts. The column capitals exhibit different features, with some reflecting the Corinthian style, while others have simple unadorned capitals. Except for a few columns at the corners or fluted, most are observed to be cylindrical in shape. The cistern's walls, constructed with bricks and measuring 4.80 meters in thickness, along with the brick-paved floor, were made waterproof by plastering them with a thick layer of mortar made from lime and powdered brick. After the conquest of Istanbul in 1453, the historical cistern continued to be used for the needs of the Topkapi Palace for some time. As residential development gradually started in the area, the cistern also began to be utilized by the public. The structure, once overlooked by Westerners until the mid-16th century, was essentially rediscovered during this period. French naturalist and topography expert Petrus Julius, who lived in Istanbul between 1544 to 1555, is credited with the rediscovery. Julius made the first measurements of the cistern, describing it as the largest water chamber in Constantinople, with a length of 336 feet and a width of 182 feet, surrounded by 224 Roman steps. Noting the number of columns and investigating numerous wells on the top of the cistern, Julius stated, they draw water with buckets, they even row inside the cistern, lighted by lamps, and fish. Air and light leak into the cistern through the wells, and fish swim under the light. These sentences conveyed that the locals were aware of the cistern during those times. In the Ottoman era, the Basilica Cistern underwent its first and second repairs during the reigns of Sultan Ahmed III, under the guidance of architect Kayseruli Mehmet Aga, and Sultan Abdul Hamid II. Subsequently, it continued to undergo repairs in the following years. Between 1955 to 1960, nine columns under the risk of breaking were frozen by covering them with a thick layer of concrete. In a comprehensive restoration and cleaning project carried out by the Istanbul Metropolitan Municipality between 1985 to 1987, blocks with reliefs of the head of Medusa, the most iconic symbol of the Basilica Cistern, were discovered. The Medusa heads, used as column bases, are positioned vertically in the western part and horizontally in the eastern part of the structure. The Basilica Cistern, turned into a museum after a tour platform arrangement in 1987, has hosted various national and international events over time. This mysterious site, an integral part of Istanbul sightseeing programs, has been visited by numerous individuals, including former U.S. President Bill Clinton, Dutch Prime Minister Wim Koch, Italian former Foreign Minister Lamberto Dini, former Swedish Prime Minister Goran Persson, and former Austrian Prime Minister Thomas Klestel. Following the largest restoration in its history implemented by Istanbul Heritage Incorporated, the Basilica Cistern Museum reopened its doors on July 22, 2022, to witness many more centuries. Hosted by Culture A, the unique museum aims to create a universe for the future of art with its deep memory. In addition to temporary exhibitions, contemporary art shows, and cultural events, the museum also showcases concerts, continuing to embrace a new generation of museum concepts. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more travel adventures and hit the notification bell, so you never miss an update. Until next time, keep exploring, keep dreaming, and I'll see you in the next video.